IC native does not imply that you can only create and model new things in Blender Beam, but that you can also edit and update your existing objects. Last time I showed you how to create a slab in Blender Beam, and now I'll show you how you can modify this slab. All right, then what are you waiting for? Let's dive in. Let's load our existing model with my famous my slab, right? It was called my slab. There we go. This is our fabulous slab. Now, if we want to modify it, we just have to select it and press on tab. Okay. We need to press on tab. Let's see if I enable this, you are going to be able to see this. So now I'll go and do that again. Here, click and now on tab. Okay. You see this text right here, tab. So follow this uh, thing right here. And now all you have to do is to uh, choose an edge. I will, you will see here that right now I can uh, select uh, my vertices mode, vertex selected, or uh, here I have a edge and here I have a face. And I'll go for edge so I can select a specific edge here. And I'll choose this one. You see this one is highlighted. And now I uh, can move it. I can either press here or press G. So if I press G, it's moved. It's moving, right? And let's say that I want to lock this in the X direction, which is the X axis right here. We can see with the red. If I press on X, now I can uh, do like this. And uh, I know already that this slab was one by one meters. So let's say I want to make it four by four and I'll press three and then enter. And there we go. We have it here. Now I'll go and select this edge right here. It's a bit difficult to see, but it's there. You see it they are a bit gray it's not the best uh, color team looks like okay and again i'll uh, press g for move right and this time is in the y direction and then i lock it in this you see it goes straight and i'll choose three meters again and enter and there we have it and now you once you are done with this you press one more time on tab and there we go this is how we edit the dimensions of course, we have also something else, which is the thickness. The thickness is a bit more trickier and maybe not so intuitive, but it makes sense from an IC schema perspective. So in order to change the thickness, you actually need to go in the materials tab. Yeah, that's right. It's here and we can see that when I created this lab, I did not give it any name to the material, right? And we can see the thickness, the existing thickness is 0.2 which is like uh, 200 millimeters, okay? So in this case, we can click here and, and if we click here, now we can choose the thickness. And let's say I want to make this 0.3. There we go. And now we click on save changes. And there we go. If you don't believe me, let me show you. Let me prove you by measuring this. So I'll need to enable first this edge like that and now i'll click here and there we go 0 0.3 meters okay another way to check these things it's by pressing n and we will see the dimensions of this element if i go back and select mode and i choose it right here and we go on item we'll see here the dimensions, four meters, four meters and 0 0.3, the thickness. So that is how you modify your IFC elements. Now let's check something because I'm a bit curious if these changes can be saved just by pressing save, because there is a chance that's not the case. So let's see, actually, let me save a project as another my slab. Let's call this my slab my modified slab okay let's be creative right so i saved it so now let me close this let me close it you see i closed i don't have anything now let's load this again one more time and let's load our my modified slab and let's see yes okay so we actually don't need to apply yeah because we did everything in ifc and according to the ifc schema so yeah it works exactly as it was supposed to. If this was helpful, you might also be interested to watch these videos right here. 